how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing part two in the French Girl series and we're going to be doing hair and makeup. I'm going to show you exactly how I got this French Girl inspired hair and this makeup look so you can uh, try it out at home <laughs> if you want to. I'll link all of the products that I'm using down below if you're interested in seeing the exact ones I use but we're basically just going to be you know going off of. I'll just be sharing with you the whole vibe of it all so you can really use whatever you have already in your own makeup kits and what's available to you at home so let us get started all right so first we're going to be starting off with the makeup and then we'll jump right into the hairstyle now with french girl makeup the thing is it's very very simple like think that five minute slapped on makeup that's very very effortless um your natural skin is still shining through it's almost like a no makeup makeup kind of vibe which is very much how i try to do my makeup every single day and i think and i think that's why um french girl style and beauty is one of my biggest inspirations because i just love the whole effortlessness of it and um simplicity and just embracing your natural beauty type of thing so i'm gonna do a very quick makeup routine um, sort of emulating that style and just pointing out a few a few key things that I noticed with that specific style of makeup so like I mentioned um, there's not a lot of you know you're not caking on a face of foundation here you're not trying to cover everything up you're really trying to embrace your natural your natural skin and keep everything looking really fresh so I'm just going to take a little bit of CC cream and then just apply that evenly all over my face and then I'll rub that in with my or blend that in with my makeup sponge. So makeup products that would look really good for this type of makeup is something like a CC cream or something like a tinted moisturizer, just something really light and really fresh on your skin. All right, so I'm just gonna do a little flick of concealer as well just to brighten up the under eyes. And I think the key is just to use a handful of products. You don't really wanna go in with everything under the sun and layer everything up, just those key products like a little bit of tinted moisturizer or your CC cream, your concealer, a flick of mascara, brush up your brows and a pop of color on your lips and you're heading out the door. Like we really, really want to embrace that effortless look and we don't want to spend a lot of time at it either. So I'm going to go in with a couple, uh, I'm going to go in with a little cheek stick just to add some color to my cheeks and I'm just going to put that on um, the apples of my cheeks and then sort of just blend that out with my finger just to get a nice rosy cheek. Another thing to do would be to take some of your cheek product and just add a little bit on top of your nose as well. That gives you that nice little rosy look to you, um, adds a little bit of color and just makes you look a little bit more sun-kissed, I guess. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, pop that onto my nose and then that's it for the cheeks. We don't want to go overboard with that either. Like I mentioned for the brows, it's basically just brushing them up. I find a product like the Glossier Boy Brow that's literally perfect. It has a little bit of a tint in it and it's just going to brush your brows right up and then keep them in place for the day. So I love something like that. Just a quick messy little brow look. And I'm also just gonna powder up really quickly as well because we don't want to get crazy. We don't want to get oily through the day. So I'm just, you know, on my nose and my chin, that's where I tend to get oily. So just a little bit of powder. So last up, I think the two most important products for that French girl style makeup look is number one, mascara, and number two, a lipstick. So I'm gonna go in with a mascara just a quick, you know, flick to your eyelashes, let them pop out a little bit and nothing too crazy. You don't want like giant fake lashes. You really want the more natural look here. 
And for the lips, that would be my absolute favorite part. I'm a huge lipstick freak, so this one you can really have some fun with. I think the signature French girl style of lips is having that pop of red on the lips, but you can really build it. So if you just take whatever red lipstick you have and you can kind of just start dabbing it onto your lips and rubbing it out with your finger, you can build and use as much color as you want or as little color as you want. And I think that's a good way to start going about it. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and just, just gently dab and then take my finger and rub that through. This is also a great way to take your lipstick from more of a daytime look to a nighttime look because you can just bring one lipstick. So, you know, having the more muted color for the daytime and then you're able to layer it up a little bit more for an evening look. It looks so much more pink on camera, but I swear it's red. <laughs> and I'm gonna take a little bit more And that's really it for the makeup, just super, super quick. Like I said, that five minute effortless makeup vibe. This is like my go-to everyday look. I love just something really quick and easy and a little bit more natural. And then you can really play around with your lip color and have some fun with that and really make everything pop. So now we are gonna go into the hairstyling. All right, so the key with French girl hairstyling is much the same as it is with the fashion and with the makeup. It's very minimal effort. It's kind of like you just rolled out of bed and you can't be bothered, but it still somehow looks really great. So that's exactly what we're gonna try to go for here. I've heard before too, like that the French girl way is like you don't even put a brush through your hair type of thing. So this is actually my natural hair. Um, I've washed it and just let it air dry. My hair is pretty pin straight. So what I'm gonna try to do is give my hair a little bit of texture as well as that effortless vibe, even though I'm gonna be putting a touch of effort into it. Um, um, just so you can get the idea of the look that we're going for. So I'm gonna be using a wide barrel curling wand just to give my hair a little bit of, you know, definition <laughs> since it's all very, very pin straight. And that way I can just play around with, with it from there. So I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna go in hot with this curling wand. I'm just gonna take sections of hair and kind of curl it here and there. I'm not doing this in any sort of uniform way. And sorry, I'm gonna be looking into the viewfinder just because I don't have a mirror in front of me. So apologies for that. I'm just, I'm literally just gonna be taking sections from wherever and sort of just giving it a little bit of volume, a little bit of definition um, so that it's not all pin straight everywhere. I really want that just rolled out of bed type of type of look. What I'm also doing is I'm gonna be taking like as I did with the first curl I kind of curled it away from my face with this one I'm curling it towards my face so you can kind of um so you can kind of alternate which way you're doing curls and things like that just to make it look a little bit different don't worry if the sections are bigger or smaller just take hair from wherever and I'm not even gonna worry about getting every single hair on my head curled I'm just taking random sections. Okay, now that I've curled my hair all over, I'm just gonna rough it up with my fingers um, because we don't want that clean and sleek looking hair. We want that roughed up. I just rolled out of bed and my hair looks good kind of hair. So that's basically what I'm doing. I'm also just gonna take a little bit of texturizing spray spray that into my hand and then sort of rough that up in my hair as well. So just focusing up around the roots a little bit and then working my way down. So as you can see, like my hair was super sleek and flat before and now it's a little bit more, like there's that volume in it, there's that texture in it. It doesn't look like it just had a brush through it. It's more more of that just rolled out of bed vibe. And what you can also do is just take some of your um, hair and sort of gently tease it up with your fingers. And that can help to give a little bit more volume and texture as well. And there we have it. So very, very easy and quick. Just taking a, just taking a wide barrel curling wand 
blonde and sort of messily doing up some curls, take some texturizing spray, scrunch it up how you wish, and then you could also just take some hairspray or something like that and do that. And then you can always just slightly tease up your hair a little bit with your fingers. No brushes involved. We don't want to be using brushes. And that is pretty much it for that. French girl inspired hair and French girl inspired makeup and also last week in case you missed it I did the full French girl inspired outfit so I styled up four different looks that were very inspired by this whole vibe and that minimalistic and effortless approach to fashion if you will so you can check that out I'll leave it linked below so yeah that is it um whenever I think of French girl hair and makeup I always think of Jeanne Damas I'll link her Instagram down below but she is definitely one of my biggest inspirations that I love to follow along on Instagram she has that very effortless vibe I love all of her outfits and her hair is always on point her makeup's always on point she's a she's a good inspiration account to follow if you're into this sort of style so I'll be sure to link her down below but that basically sums it up I hope you guys enjoyed this little series and I'm definitely gonna be doing another get the look next month so I hope you liked it <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video bye